The third principle of desirable difficulty is something called interleaving. While in the second principle we talk about repetition of the same thing, in interleaving what we are saying is that put in between some variety. Let me explain to you by example. Students were taught a same subject over a 90 minute period followed by another session of 90 minute period on the same topic. This is called blocked learning. I have taught the students over 2 to 3 hours the same topic, I have gone into some depth. However, there were a second set of students who were taught the topic for 90 minutes, then they were given a break, then they were taught one more topic and the next day they were again taken back to the same topic and taught the balanced 90 minutes. This is called interleaving. I have actually interspersed the two instances of learning with something in between. I have introduced variety in between. And what was found was that the first group of students who were taught it almost at the same time, which we are calling as blocked learning, learned the process much better, but did not learn the concept so well. Whereas the second group of students where we had put a gap between block 1 and block 2, conceptually learnt it lot more. A simple example was tried out in a very different context. They showed a group of students a variety of painting. In the first set, they showed the students a lot of Picasso painting, followed by Cezanne painting and followed by Renoir painting. In the second set, they all mixed it up. They showed one Picasso, one Cezanne, one Renoir. But the second set actually became a lot better in distinguishing the different painting styles or genre of Picasso or Renoir or Cezanne. So our lesson from all this is that when we are trying to teach a process, maybe the blocked learning is quite good. But when we are talking about teaching concepts, then put the students in a variety of situations, show them a variety of problems, so that it becomes difficult for them in the short run, but over a period of time, they tend to understand the minor differences that exist, all the things that you need to do to apply a concept to multiple situations. That enables them to apply the learning a lot better, and as a consequence, they of course, learns a lot.